All right, our next property of exponents is taking the power of a power. So what if I have, let's use this example, I have x to the third squared, x to the third to the second power. A little different than what we were doing before. We were doing this, which is not what we're doing now. Now we're raising x to the third to the second power. Let me erase that so we're not confused. All right, we'll go back here. Let's rewrite this. A number of different ways we could rewrite that, but um, you all should know, I hope, that when you square something, it just means multiplying whatever is being squared by itself. So if we are squaring x to the third, that means x to the third times x to the third. Well, now it just looks like a uh, product of powers problem, doesn't it? x to the third times x to the third is x to the three plus three, which is six. So how do we do this with skipping this step, which we really don't need? Well, pretty simple. If we take a look at our exponents, we've got a three and a two, and our answer is six. What do we do? We multiply. Yes, that's what we do. So let's write, a, write this again as an algebraic rule. x to the a raised to the b power is x to the a times b. There you go. That is how we raise a power to a power, the power of a power. So in this case, if we're raising an exponent to an exponent, we multiply our exponents. So let's take a look at a few examples. This one should be pretty straightforward, I hope. Um, how about m to the fourth to the second? What do you do? You add your exponents. I'm sorry, you multiply your exponents. Four times two is m to the eighth. That would be your answer. Pretty easy, right? Okay. Uh, let's see, how about we combine some things, that'd be fun. How about if we do a to the third to the third times b squared over a times b to the fourth squared, making life a little more complicated here, getting, getting a little more complicated with my simplification problems, okay? Let's take a look. We've got a to the third to the third. So we just said that our rule is that we're going to multiply the exponents if we raise a power to a power. So that gives me a to the three times three, a to the ninth, times b squared over, if you ignore my dog barking in the background, but that's okay. And here we've got b to the 4 raised to the second, so that's 4 times 2 is b to the eighth. Not quite done yet, are we? Now it should look like our quotient rule. And remember what our quotient rule was. Our quotient rule said that if we have um, a two exponential expressions with the same base divided by each other, then we subtract the smaller one from the bigger one and put the answer where the larger exponent was. Let's go ahead and put a 1 here. It's understood, but it'll help us a little bit. So if we deal with strictly our a's here, I've got 9 minus 1 is a to the eighth, and since my 9, the bigger exponent was on the top, that's where my answer is going to go, a to the eighth. Over, I have b, if I look at the b terms, I have b squared and b to the eighth. Eight minus two is six, and since the b to the eighth, the larger term was on the bottom, that's where I'm gonna put my b to the sixth answer. So that's a combination of both a power to a power rule, um, the power of a power property and a um, quotient of powers property. But again, our pow power of a power property is that when you have a uh, two exponential expression, an exponential expression raised to a power, you multiply those two powers together. That's all there is. Thanks.